I'm Corinne. I'm Thomas. Good morning. Welcome to the Chill Spot. My name is Drake, and this is Corinne. Or Thomas. Yeah, or Thomas. No, really, I'm Drake, and this is Corinne. Good morning, everyone. We hope that you're all doing great. I am really happy to talk about this, and I wrote about this in The Edge. I hope everyone has read it. So I'll say if you have not received The Edge for May, you're not on the list to receive it. Exactly. So... Go on our website, fill out a Get Connected form, and I will make sure to get you on the list to get the edge in the following months. But we're going to talk a little bit about National Skilled Nursing Care Week, which is the 12th, so yesterday. Yes, it started yesterday and it ends on the 18th. The 18th. Mm -hmm. And the theme this year is Live Soulfully. And when I seen that, I was so excited. So as many people know, I've... Tied it right in with my professional life, but it started in my personal life. I started this spiritual journey, you could say. The first thing was positive thinking. And, you know, that just started it. I took this whole long session with a man by the name of Steve Siemens from Des Moines, Iowa. And he started with positive thinking and how you can retrain your mind in 60 days. And I was a very negative person. So living soulfully was something, when I seen that title, I'm like, what? CNA, what? <laughs> right up my alley. So I'm going to let Corinne tell you the definition, how they define living soulfully. And then we're going to talk about a few ways that you can live soulfully in and out of work. I did not have this memorized, so I'm actually going to read it. Darn it. I know. You're in trouble. I know. You're getting written up. I know. <laughs> Send me to that supervisor's Go office. to the principal's office now. <laughs> yes. Just no wire hangers. <laughs> <laughs> So it actually means going beyond looking and feeling good, being mindful of your thoughts or your ego, able to tune into your own inter compass and determine what feels right for you. And I like that. I'm kind of like you. Yeah, I and I agree, you know, as caregivers, a lot of the time we put the needs of the residents first. Mm -hmm. And often we think that's the right thing to do. And I struggle with it still to this day <laughs> because I am a caregiver. Whether that's my residents, my friends, my coworkers, I care about people. So in my mind, they come first. But a big thing about living soulfully is, you know, Turn that around. If you're not putting yourself first and taking into consideration these things you said, you know, being mindful of your thoughts mm -hmm. and your ego, tuning into your compass, basically, you know, what's your path? Where are you going? How far have you come? If you're not focusing on those things, you're not 100% here, so you can't give 100%. Not saying that I always focus on myself first, because that, at a, to an extent, could sound arrogant, but you're internal happiness and your internal self has to be taken care of before you can take care of others. And I think as caregivers, we fail to realize that way too often, or we may not fail to realize that we realize it, but we still think in our mind as a caregiver, they come first. It's not bad to put yourself first. Right. Self-care is big. And that's why I really like the living soulfully. You can, we can tie this right into your residence and we will talk about that, but it's about things that you do. You know, what did you do good this week? What do you plan to do good? Goal setting, that's a big thing with living soulfully as well, I believe. Right. Because if you do not get that good night's sleep the night before and you go to work, you're clocking in and you're just like this, <laughs> you're not going to be focused on your resident. Exactly. So if you do not take care of yourself first, your resident is going to suffer in the long run. You know, if you're, we're in a big hurry to get our residents to get their meals, but if you do not eat properly, you're going to be slacking. Exactly. Yeah. Slacking off. Food was health. a big thing I was thinking about mm -hmm. diet. And as caregivers, as I pull out my shirt, as you can tell, <laughs> I don't have the greatest diet. No, just kidding. That's changed. You know, I have been very conscious about what I eat. And in turn, I have more energy more energy than I can be a better Drake, happier. So diet's a big thing. And as caregivers, we want quick. We want easy. Sometimes we're not taking our full 30-minute lunch break. I was very bad about that. 
very, very bad. Sometimes I didn't take my lunch break. Right. Take your break. You know, you have to take a second, a 30 minutes to get away from the floor, reset your mind. You can evaluate or go over what have you done so far today. That's good. What have you done that's maybe isn't up to your expectation that you're going to work on for the rest of the day? Those are all ways that you can live soulfully, you know, eat right, take a break. There has to be a work-life balance even at work. Right. I, I totally agree with that because if, you, if you're not in tune to your own needs, how can you tune into someone else's needs? It's, yeah, if, exactly. If your mind is not focused, you're not going to be able to focus on that task that you have to make sure that gets done for that resident. Mm -hmm. So um, take this time to show your other staff that you appreciate them. Also let um, your residents know how much you appreciate them. You know, talk with them. Let them tell you how much they appreciate yeah. you. Don't be embarrassed. I mean, if you have a resident that reaches out and touches you, just let them touch your shoulder. What is it going to hurt? You know, I mean, you know a good touch from a bad touch. Yeah, and, yeah. and, and that's you, a, a human need at no matter, no matter where you are in life. If you're a resident in a nursing home, if you're a preschool or at a school, a human need is physical contact and residents don't get enough of that. And that's another living soulful, you know, those are things you need to pay attention to. Not only things in yourself, but the things with the people you take care of. Once you've taken care of you, now let's take care of them. So you notice Betty's sitting most days in her wheelchair, just sitting, you know, go prompt her to live soulfully. Ask her the things she likes. Ask her about the weather today. That's a really good one. Compliment her. Many a times I walk down the hallway and I pass a resident, I really love the color of your shirt. Mm -hmm. It makes her whole day. And if you start to practice these things, they come as second nature. Mm -hmm. And then it, it, it'll it start making you feel better. I love complimenting people. I love giving people kudos, that kind of thing, because I practice it all the right. time. I didn't used to like to you and it was hard to accept mm -hmm. them. Right. But I've been practicing and I never had a term for it, but I've been practicing for a few years, <laughs> living soulfully. And these are the things that I do. Like, just, hey, and it doesn't always have to be physical. Like, it's really nice to have you on the board of directors. You bring a lot to the team, and we really appreciate you. Things like that. Honest, true, but they're not a physical compliment. They work. Right, right. And that makes you happy. And your soul is happy, so you are feel like you're you're living a more meaningful yes. life. A soulful. You have a purpose. Yes. A soulful life. So um, we're going to reach out to you guys. And if you have any special activities that you're doing um, this week for yourself, your leadership team, or for your residents, send us some pictures. But please remember to make sure that you have permission. Of course. Don't cross the line of that HIPAA law taking snapshots of your residents. I would love to have a ton, a ton of pictures for the June Naka Edge. Of uh, people celebrating the National Skilled Nursing Home Week, Nursing Care Week, I mean, Skilled Nursing Care Week. So if you guys do anything in your building that week, this week, and you'd like to take some pictures, shoot them to me, I'll make sure they get them in the, get them in the edge. A description with the pictures of what you're doing is always helpful because I like to put that there so people know what home is it from, what were they doing that day. So just try this week to practice living soulfully. Again, like I always ask, in the comments, let us know what you're doing. What small changes are you making? And just know you can't go from a negative attitude to 100% perfect living soulfully overnight. It's a, it's definitely a like time, progress. You, it takes time. 60 days is what it takes to retrain the brain. But if you never start, you'll never make it to day 60. Exactly. And you're always going to have those days where... You can't be positive. Yeah. You know. So but don't ever be negative. That's right. my thing. I have right. days where I'm not the most positive person, <laughs> but I have to allow, I have to make sure and be conscious that I'm not negative. There's not only positive and negative. There can be a neutral and you're just having a day. Hmm. I'll grant you a day whenever you need a day, as long as you're not negative. That's true. It's just a hard place to get out of. If And I've had those days, negative days, and I... <laughs> don't even like myself those days and it is such a task to be positive once you get into that rut of being negative right so take this week and um party. have fun <laughs> yeah. party 
happy, celebrate, <laughs> live soulfully. Do. Yeah, and just just remember your why this week. Yes, um, that's good. Why you are a CNA? Why you do what you do? And if you think about it, CNAs, um, they are happy in their soul. Oh, I mean, yeah. they are living a, a good soulful It's a life. very rewarding career. Mm -hmm. So living soulfully as a caregiver, is we're not asking much because it is a rewarding career and there are so many things that can aid in that living soulful mm -hmm. aspect of your life. So you just got to put the attention there, be conscious of it, and do some of the things that we suggested. Right. So we can't wait to hear from you. So send us our pictures and make sure if you are not getting that NACA edge, yes. um, you know, you're missing out if you don't contact Drake. For sure. Go on the website and fill out the Get Connected form. If you're not getting the NACA edge, subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment on our videos. I could just <laughs> record this little part on a tablet and hold it up every time. <laughs> but thanks for joining in. And if you haven't told your friends about us, tell your friends about us because we're a pretty big deal. And we will look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, remember that you matter.